welcome back to our next episode of Mansion Over Here, Mansion Over Here, Mansion Over Here, Box on the Ground Over Here. No, actually, this is Rose RGB, and she is attempting Euphorial Queen's Rosebud Challenge. And she's getting pretty hungry and she has no energy and she's sleeping away but today she has it she has today off this is her first weekend her first Saturday at 6 a.m. and uh, she's gonna be sleeping for a little bit basically uh, I kept her up real late to uh, complete her play chess task which is complete uh, her work requirement she has achieved logic skill level 2 let's see what is her logic skill level she is 15 percent into level 3 handiness skill is still at a low or a 70 percent of 1 for her aspiration she needs to finish reading two more books all right She's been saving this peach crystal, and I got her a lump of clay uh, for her to play with. And also it makes her inspired if she should ever need to be inspired for some reason. And uh, the peach crystal, she can study the crystal and become focused. And as well, we have this work reward, this solar system light thing here. And that is also a focusing object, so... If I enable the emotional aura, as I just did, it will produce focusing in this immediate area. She's got a sun surfer frog and a whirly flower frog, and, and uh, I already bred frogs as soon as I loaded up the game, so it's not time for frogs yet. What we have done in here is uh, I got her the portable camping shower so she can shower in total privacy in her lot and she can also take it with her in her inventory and shower anywhere that she needs to I also got her this red floor tile and uh, put a window in the bathroom up high we'll uh, figure out what we're gonna skin the walls with later I'm not worried about wallpaper right now but I figured that it's a bathroom to make it even more official we should put floor tile floor in it in fact I'm missing a tile there we go the cool thing about the Chillville portable cooler is that she can also take this in her inventory and have a quick meal anywhere she goes she also left this bowl of yogurt on the floor and uh, in one hour and 15, 14, 13 minutes it's going to start emitting a greenish vapor and she will probably declare disgrowable. Rose is going to be sleeping for a bit so I'll pause here and come back when, that, when she's done sleeping because she will be hungry and then we'll have something to do which is eat food before the hunger gets worse. And did I forget? Mansion over here. Mansion down there. Mansion over there. But you can't visit those mansions because they're in another neighborhood that is not a neighborhood. It therefore ends at the boundary right there. This is the view from Hollow Slaw. Got people running. Who's this? Could this be Belagoth? I think it is. And there, look, there's Mortimer. And as soon as I come over here, there they go. Okay. 
and there she goes. All right. <laughs> Rose is uncomfortable, plus one. Hungry. From low hunger, Rose is hungry. Eat some food before the hunger gets worse. Becomes ravenous in 23 hours. Mm. What? What is this? Of all things, on a Saturday morning, Alexander Goth has just knocked on my door. Weird. Well, let's see what happens if I queue up and invite in. Okay, she goes ahead and wakes up. Well, let's see what happens. <laughs> Eat some granola, Rose. It'll be good for you. Well, she invited him in, but he's not coming in, so I don't know what the deal is. She's going to eat some granola. Oh, yes. Disgrobal on the floor. Disgrobal on the floor. Whoa, I kind of overcorrected there, didn't I? Harpin? Larkin fruit. Oh, Okay, where are you going with the bowl, Rose? Please, please clean up. You've already got Discrobal on the floor. There's Discrobal on the floor. That's right. Clean it up. Pipitao Felinus. Uh, Fumu. Watso. Watso. Fish. A Mookie Blarn. Huh? A Mookie Blarn. <laughs> okay. So she has made an awkward comment to Alexander Goth of all people, so she's going to hide from everyone under the covers to get rid of her embarrassment. <laughs> awkward comment. Oh, why, oh, why did Rose say that? Embarrass plus one. Now she wants to analyze. What is she analyzing? Ludicrous Dark and the Increasingly Unlikely Series of Coincidences. She's going to analyze that. I, does analyzing it boost any kind of skill? No. But there's a limit on it. There's a, there's a meter on it, so apparently there is a specific... Oh, uh, Alexander has grabbed one of the children's books out of the uh, bookshelf there. Okay, now she's focused. Okay, analyzing a book makes you focused. Or it helps. Or maybe this, maybe the light finally kicked in. Uh -huh. Notice sometimes oh, yeah. <laughs> the emotional aura doesn't reliably work outdoors. And since this doesn't have an enclosed wall in this area yet. Mm. It may consider this still outdoors. In fact, I'm sure it does. Okay, well, she's focused. She doesn't have to play chess. She really needs to go hunt for crystals and rocks and frogs and stuff, so let's go ahead and uh, bladder. I see I should have put the... Uh, should have put the nightstand on the other side of the bed. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you guys. I did get her a nightstand because Sims love to use surfaces. They love to set stuff down. Let's have her use her camp shower for the first time. 
don't really know why you need to wash your hands if you're going to take a shower. But anyway. Amazingly, there's space for another book on this thing. <laughs> so I guess... Um, What is he going to do? Is he is he going to read that book? No, he's going to put it away. <laughs> Little Alexander Goff. You know, when he goes up, when he grows up to a teen, he turns into a spike-haired punk. You do know that, right? Dag, dag. Rose is actually still kind of hungry. Let's put in inventory. Put the clay in your inventory and uh, put the chest in your inventory. Come on, Rose. Yeah, that, that's right. Put the clay in your inventory. Or sit on it, I guess. That's weird. And... Uh-huh. Let's ask Alexander to leave, because... It's already 3.06 p.m. Rose has stuff to do. Rose has to dig right now. Since they're out here, we may as well go ahead and circuit our own neighborhood rather than traveling elsewhere. Let me wait and see if this is... This should be a crystal. And an amethyst. Okay, dig. 55 simoleons. It is uncommon. All right. We'll just uh, let her rack these up, and I'll decide what to sell at the end here. She's got 122 simoleons right now. Dig that. Oh, time capsule. Open it up. Looks like there's people and probably some more food over there. Rose is actually hungry again. The granola really didn't go that far. And she found leaf for 60 simoleons. Dig that. Demi Swenson, young adult. I don't know if we've ever met Demi Swenson, have we? No. There's no real... She's uncomfortable for some reason. Uh, open it up. We found hopper for 20 simoleons. Let's go look for some frogs over here. Look at it. What is that? Why, it's your friendly neighborhood dragonfly. There's actually a couple of them out here. There's another one. Little sim dragonflies. Oh. <laughs> She found a striped eggplant frog, which is not very... And she is uncomfortable, plus one from unpleasant surroundings. That means that there must be spoiled food going on over here. Oh, everybody's eating franks and beans. I thought I heard somebody fart. And there's piles of trash. Look at this sim. She's been... She must have been rummaging through the trash can. Who is this? Annalise Gerber, young adult. Hmm. I wonder what she's all about. Rose has never met her, not even briefly. There's nothing on the uh, meter there at all. There's not even a meter. Whereas with this one, they must have at least <laughs> dag-dagged or sousled or each other at some point because there's at least a meter there. Look at her. She is so dirty. Now this is fresh franks and beans, too. Look, it's still 7 hours and 27 minutes until spoiled. That is so funny. I, th I, to I know some one of these sims over here farted. I thought I heard a fart. They've all been eating franks and beans. What is this? Tofu dog. Quality good. Well, Rose is hungry, but I'm not going to eat over here. We, we found our frog. 
we got farting sims over here eating franks and beans we've got a sim rummaging around in the trash I ought to clean that up because it is right by my house this is this is my favorite spot over here because it's always food over here we'll come back to these guys later let me scope out the next dig That's an egg. Oops. Zombo -skiba. look at that look on her face it's just so she is so nonplussed by all this the tube, love a <laughs> <laughs> let's get away from all that It's quite a jog over. Too bad this doesn't count as jogging because, you know, I like the fact that you can click on your sim and just tell them to go jogging and they'll, they'll just jog around. On the other hand, in giving us that, for some reason they took away the ability to click on the ground and say jog to this specific part. So I don't know. Go look for frogs up here. She is tense from stranger danger. I guess those cats back there must have uh, really, really aggravated her or something. Okay, what have we got? Oh, we had to open it up. And Hopper's new. We've got a striped eggplant frog. Let's sell that because that's not really what I need. A spotted eggplant frog, $10.00. Um, let's so go ahead and sell Poppy for 20 simoleons because she's not in here to be a collector. She's just making money. So Leaf is rarity uncommon. You know, if she collects a really cool one or one that I like, I might let her keep it when she gets another surface. She needs another surface, definitely. Let's sell Hopper. And let's sell Leaf. We are now currently sitting on 242 simoleons. Well, this is a nice little spot here. Okay, I think we need to go over yonder here uh, to where the uh, little playground area is and uh, see if there's something over there. Look at that look. Look at that look. She is really ticked at those messy farting sims that she had encountered over there. She is not having any of that. Okay, I've come over here to the uh, kids park area and uh, there is a plate of veggie burger one serving left so we're gonna go ahead and grab that serving go I like how you can see the little duck legs swimming underneath the surface of the water there. That's that's neat. That's so crazy. The detail, man. The detail of the little duck sims. Okay, looks like she made it and that serving was still there. So she's going to get to eat. Who is this? Malaysia Berg, adult. Incoming phone call. Eliza Bro would like to come over to hang out. Is that okay? Well, I'm not even home. What is it? This is a child, isn't it? No, let's not hang out. Rose has stuff to do. She has digs to dig and frogs to find. So I guess they're going to play musical chairs again. Okay. Rebo. Fuma. Danibiba. Rebo. Ah. 
Uh-huh. Well, that cut off. Seneca Malaysia Seneca is flirty, Seneca and they have Seneca negative Seneca relationship Seneca connotations Seneca here. She is tense. Rose is pretty tense. Tense plus one from Stranger Danger. She doesn't know this this sim, and she doesn't like her. Blows it, blows it, blows it. What is that sim about? See if I can find her on here. There she is. Unknown traits, acquaintances. Although, now they're having a pleasant conversation. Yeah, Rose is definitely not amused with this situation. <laughs> Did you see that? Alright, at least throw your stuff away, Rose. She's thinking of a sink while throwing the stuff in the trash. Oh, there's trash out here? Did that sim come strolling around here to uh, rummage through the garbage over here too? Okay, she wants to read the point farmer. Let's see, her needs are... Okay, the, only, the lowest thing is energy, so can't do nothing about that except go to bed. Let's make sure we've found all the digs. I think our did I already go through here? No, I haven't gone through here yet. Yes, the, these two digs right here. Dig. Watch out for traffic rows. Even though in the Sims, traffic just goes right through you. Because traffic is fake. Okay, she got a gem, or she got some metal, that's right, she got some pyrite for 10 simoleons. And she got some platinum for 20 simoleons, I wonder, I think the pyrite, it costs 20 simoleons to send it to the Geo Council, so I would say, is it really worth the pyrite unless you were collecting? No. Unless you needed that element specifically to complete a collection, no. It's not worth the loss. I don't know what it goes up to, but at best you'll break even. Platinum, 20 for 20. You'll get your 20 back and then a little more because the elements are worth more extracted, but... I don't know. I guess I ought to just sell it for the 20. I'll have to look that up later to see what you get for platinum. I don't have time to look it up now. Let's extract the fossil. And we've got a fossilized egg for 70 simoleons. Let's sell that. We've got the amethyst for 55 simoleons. Oh, the sun has gone down. Go here. Place in world. Place in world. Just want to see what it looks like. She's going to keep one. I guess we'll keep the one that looks more red. Put in inventory. Put in inventory. The amethyst looks really pretty, but her color is red, not purple. So she's going to take the simoleons, all 55 of them. Ooh, I almost forgot. We should be able to breed frogs now. Let's try if I tr do the sun surfer frog with the whirly flower frog. I get another sun surfer frog. Wonder why I can't get another whirly flower frog. Interesting. Well, at least the sun surfers are 125 a pop. That is not quite as good as 160 a pop, but we'll uh, we'll take it. We're now up to 522 simoleons.
She will be getting tired soon, but she still has some energy left, so let's see where else she can gather before going to bed. Okay, I looked all over the neighborhood, and she's picked up everything that can be picked up, and so we're going to go to another neighborhood. I know where most of the collectibles are in... Let's go over to this neighborhood. She's been there before, so maybe things will have spawned again since then. Seems like the first time you go to a neighborhood in a particular save game, the rocks are not spawned yet, so we'll go to the Willowbanks pool with no one. <laughs> go with her. No. Let's just go. Okay, there's a dig right there. The cool thing about putting at least one public lot in every neighborhood is that um, you can chime into here and then use their facilities if necessary. So, after running around the neighborhood, let me let me find the next dig real quick. Rose dug up a capsule. Oh, let me open it up first, and then I'll uh, queue up the next dig. Oh, that's right, I have to unpause. Dr. F for 75 simoleons. Let's find the next one. I don't think that there's one in between here. Let me look around, look around. This is a big, ooh, I just got, that's one. This is a fossil. Okay, she's coming. Uh, ooh, and there's one over here. Let's dig that. No food left out over here. Oh, and here's frogs. I need to find another whirly flower frog. That's what I need. Where's she at? She's over there digging. I'm looking around this little public area here. Okay, I think we've exhausted. And that's the end of the neighborhood. You cannot actually go to this house. But almost. You can't go across the uh, thing there. See, I haven't really explored this neighborhood with her yet. I don't think there's ever anything along here. You can't cross this wall anyway. That would be this, the end on this side. And now we're back around to here. Oh, here's a dig. Dig. Dig, dig, dig. Look in between the houses. Okay, and we're back around. We're back around to the neighborhood. All right. Huh. This one's going to the bathroom. Let's see, where is Rose? She's here. She's routing back to the final dig. We've got a time capsule. Open it up. Okay. You don't have to hesitate there, Rose. She found a leaf frog. Oh. She found pyrite. Ten simoleons sold. She found an open it up. Yuki for 25 simoleons. And it looks like we've got two Dr. F's for 75 simoleons now. And a leaf frog. We'll sell that. What is Rose doing? She cha <laughs> Now she's chasing some other sim. What's going on here? She's chasing down this other flirty sim to have a pleasant conversation. Um, <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> Rose needs to get out more, I guess. <laughs> She Kimba is Dorothy. Wisset Borb. Tip tip. Gosh of whips. Borb, huh? Pleva Zarf. I guess I can just let her go ahead and let her social climb. She seems to be having fun. 
Let's take How's advantage you of that. Hey, you threw you. Xanahoy. Oh, it's What is she having? Just chat with Benny Malia. Belindy. Lipid Polypha. <laughs> Ask to stargaze. Oh, she's tense again. She's been sitting here having fun talking to her, and now she's tense from Stranger Danger. <laughs> okay, Rose. She is just having one aggravating day, her first day off, and she can't even seem to have fun or get in a good mood. Let's go swimming, Rose. You never did actually get to swim the other day. Let's swim laps. She still had that look on her face. <laughs> yeah. She's got that sour look on her face for sure. I wonder why she didn't just jump in. That's weird. Tense. So she's gonna build up her athletic skill. What is her athletic her fitness skill, as they call it? in The Sims 4. Well, I remember in my day, we called it athletic skill. But now they want to call it fitness skill. I don't know. Why would they have to change it? It's athletic or it's fitness. Which is it? She's 23% complete with level 1. And she is uncomfortable plus 1 from being tired. Yeah, I guess she's just getting pretty sleepy, and it is almost 1 a.m. Let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and cancel swimming around because uh, actually, if you uh, make your sim swim laps in a pool when they're exhausted, they can actually drown. So let's go home, Rose. It's time for another hunched over trudge back to the home lot. Yep, there we go. Our familiar our familiar walk here. This is her permanent walk every time we end in that uh, part. At the end of every episode, she is trudging. This part's kind of like elevator music. Okay, go ahead and bladder just uh, to uh, so you don't wake up halfway through your sleep because you're going to need a good long sleep there, Rose. Rose is about to fall asleep on the toilet. And she has elected to go ahead and sleep. So that's going to pretty much end this part. Today, Rose RGB accomplished earning 717 simoleons because um, I had wiped her out with extending the bathroom to make room for the shower and getting the shower and the end table and the window and the floor tile. I actually got her a lot and very frugally. Now we just need to cover the inside walls and the bathroom could be considered finished technically. Um, I don't know if it must have a permanent shower in order to be considered a finished bathroom, 
but like I said, I got this because technically she can bring it with her and uh, shower anywhere. Uh, she is complete on her daily task because she's off for the weekend and she did not get to finish reading books. I really should have had her read a book. Well, she's off again on Sunday, which is now today. So we will uh, have her read books on Sunday. And as we can see here in our achievement panel, Rose has progressed to a total net worth, I guess, here of 9,311 simoleons out of a million. So she's that much closer to her ultimate rosebud challenge. I forget what it was before. Was it like six? So there we have it. Rose RGB. 9,311 simoleons progress towards the million. And her current bank account is 717 simoleons. This is only the very end of week one of Rose's attempt at the Rosebud Challenge, and she is still a young adult and will age up in 15 days. Her stats, she has had 12 bathroom breaks this week. It's funny that you can look this stuff up. She's only actually cooked two of her own meals. She's taken six showers, which is, I guess, an average of about one a day. And and she's been asleep 15 times. I guess that includes all of her short naps. And she's eaten 12 meals. <laughs> 12 meals eaten, 12 bathroom breaks taken. It all evens out in the end. So that's it. Uh, in 15 days... Rose will become a full adult, and we'll see what kind of progress she can make by then. Uh, until then, goodbye for now.